Hey guys, it's Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff here tonight. It's actually tonight because I didn't do a day filming and the sun is down so I can't be in my room. So I'm sitting in my living room, I'm on my couch, which is actually quite comfy. So I can't complain. Uh, so with the HTC One X, I have a couple of things that are on my mind that I would like to share with you. And I would love to hear your guys' feedback and questions as well on this particular smartphone here. So I'm sure a lot of you guys now have your HTC One X's and you love them. They're very, this is a really nice feeling phone. It's very fast, very zippy. This is the AT&T One X version, by the way. Uh, American model, of course. And some of you have probably started noticing that it has issues with multitasking. So during my review, I'm so sorry that I did not realize that this is having a multitasking issue. I'm gonna call it an issue. HTC has put its own very strong type of modification on Android operating system where an ice cream sandwich, apps will be running normally. And what usually is supposed to happen is that when you have an app that you're no longer paying attention to, it'll pretty much close itself down by itself. So that's really actually pretty nice because you don't have to worry about cutting and killing apps. But the problem is that with HTC's own modification, as soon as you leave an app within about 30 seconds or even less, the app will just shut down entirely. And I guess they're trying to do this to make sure that the battery lasts as long as they say, especially because it doesn't have an expandable battery you know, ability. So of course they're trying to do the best that they can. Well, the problem is now that as soon as you exit out of a web browser, this is when I started to really notice it, is that just say that you're going online and you want to check your bank statement and you're like, okay, la 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 la, you have your phone and you put in your PIN and your password and then they say, okay, well, we're sending you an email so that we can confirm it's you and they send the security code that you have to put in. Well, you leave the browser, you go to check your email, you get back into the browser and it completely resets itself saying you have to re-log uh, re in again and then it, of course, sends you a new exclusive pin to your email again. So that means that you can't check your bake statements or go online and then leave the app without the page refreshing because it doesn't hold anything in cache. So that's just, that is the most irritating thing. Of course, what you can do is root the phone and then unlock the bootloader, install a custom operating system, which will have a custom kernel and you should be all good. The only thing is that some people don't like doing that. If you're watching this video, I don't know whether you are the, dem the demographic that is going to be able to root your phone and install a custom operating system after unlocking the bootloader. I do have a couple of ROMs in front of me that I will introduce to you. The only issue that I have personally and why I don't really like putting custom operating systems on the phone is a lot of the time it's laggy, they're beta versions, and it's people who are putting code in there that makes the phone not as secure as it should be on these operating systems that these phone carriers work very hard on to <laughs> uh, demolish pretty much the nice feel of the vanilla operating system but it's more secure and it's less buggy on just the flat stock ROM. And I'm not bashing any of you know your guys' efforts, of course, the ones who are on XDA are really awesome, but it's, it's not my cup of tea. It's, I'm not gonna be sitting there installing every single custom ROM as it comes out. And I know a lot of you probably don't wanna do that as well. So if you're going to be rooting your device and installing a in, you know, while unlocking the bootloader. I recommend Clean ROM, and I will put the link down in the bar down here for you guys, because essentially there's one that says it's stock, debloat performance, and battery mods, so it's stock. It's just like the regular browser, like the regular operating system, uh, but they've taken away all the bloatware from AT&T, and they've changed the battery performance a little bit. So I expect that that's gonna be pretty good and not really laggy unlock and like some of the ROMs that people are putting on it and they're noticing that it slows down the phone immediately and this phone has been designed a certain way so that the battery doesn't drain extremely fast so I know that's the reason behind HTC's stupid modification on the Android awesome multitasking operating system abilities so that is what I recommend you do. I will give you this link down here. And if you want to unlock your bootloader, which <clears throat> there's another thing on that, 
then you should be able to install a nice ROM, just clean ROM for the purpose of not killing your poor phone. So uh, AT&T has been sending out these really rude update notifications saying that, uh, yeah, we're gonna, when in which increment do you want to have your own phone updated? You're like, I don't wanna have my phone updated. I just wanna use it as it is. You know, maybe you've already um, rooted the phone and it keeps asking for over there update. So you want to prevent that from happening anymore, in which case you should install a custom operating system. But I think it's, let's see, what what is it under? La 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 la. So right now, the revision of the stock ROM is 1.73. AT&T is updating that to 1.85, which they're claiming it has a bunch of Wi-Fi fixes. The only thing is, of course, they know that you're going to be trying to unlock the bootloader. They don't want you to do that. No, they want you to use their software. So if you install this new ROM update, it's going to patch that ability. So basically, what has happened to unlock the bootloader is that there are two versions of this phone. This is the HTC One XL, and they just call it the One X in the United States. Uh, Rogers, which is the Canadian version, actually has theirs, and HTC has put up the unlock on their own mod website. So for every other HTC phone, pretty much, HTC is now releasing the ability to unlock the bootloader because they know people don't want to keep these their stock operating system. The only issue is that we're not included. Us AT&T people, we're not included. So it's really cool. If you root the phone, there's a couple lines of code that you can put in that changes the device ID essentially to the Canadian version, the One XL, and then you can trick it into thinking that you can unlock the bootloader then because, well, you can go on HTC's dev website and take the unlock tool and go ahead on your merry way. But as soon as you update to 1.85, you're gonna lose that ability because I know HTC knows about the little thing that people have been doing. So essentially the whole point of this video is that I'm just wondering what is it that you guys are doing and how are you handling the fact that your phone has a locked bootloader? I know there's gonna be a stronger solution eventually to unlocking the bootloader, but this has been a really easy one essentially and it's frustrating because it's going to go away very very soon so you're going to start seeing these updates for 1.85 don't do it you guys this is not cool uh, so really your only choice is to admire the phone as it is and respect the fact that it's going to kill apps very quickly or you can install a new operating system and the one thing is that even though I really like this phone, I'll probably go for the Galaxy S3 now seeing this because I don't mind installing custom kernels, but I really don't want a custom ROM. So I'm a bit frustrated and I wish I had noticed it earlier because I would have said it in my review. So I'm sorry you guys for not mentioning that earlier. Still a very nice phone and it really hurts that, I don't know what this means here, but it really hurts my heart inside that I feel like parting with this awesome, awesome phone for something so trivial. Very sad. So have a good evening, you guys. I'm Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff. And good night. <laughs>